I'm not sure exactly what they're eating. It's probably some of the salt tolerant plants that grow here, arrowgrass or goose tongue. I know in the spring the bears will feed on kind of the, the roots and early shoots of those plants and I don't know, a lot of them have seeds now, so I don't know if the bears are eating the seeds or they're eating the, the leaves and shoots still from those plants. But they've been grazing here for quite a while, maybe 20-30 minutes, and they seem content to eat whatever it is that they're finding. We've got a sunflower star cruising through this tide pool here. Look at all those two feet powered by the hydrovascular system. So the sea star pumps water to those tube feet and to the rays, and that's how it moves. It's a pretty amazing coordination of all of these various tube feet, thousands of them, even though the sea star doesn't have a brain or what we would consider a centralized nervous system. So that blob that's moving across the screen right now is actually a decorator crab. This crab takes algae and in this case it looks like maybe some hydroids and other materials from its environment and attaches them all to the crab shell so that it's nice and camouflaged. And if it weren't moving, we probably would just think that it's a bit of algae here in the intertidal zone. Interestingly, the crab is kind of headed towards that sunflower star we were looking at a second ago. Watch and see what might happen here. But the crab did reach out a claw and try to pinch something off of the sunflower star. Not sure if it was for eating or maybe it was trying to decorate itself with some tube feet. Lots of questions here in the intertidal zone. Whoa, it's a giant Pacific octopus. Actually, this is a little giant Pacific octopus. We tend to see the juveniles more frequently in the intertidal zone, but the adults can grow up to 10 feet from their head to the tip of their tentacle, and they can squeeze through any space larger than their beak. Uh, they're really amazing, intelligent animals and so cool to find in the intertidal zone or marine environment. 